Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, and you may notice, I am standing in the purple vents, and that is because apparently there is a safe path down here to the Mercury 2, where I can apparently get a module for my sea truck, which will get the, was it, the Leviathan over there off of me, and this is a safe path over there, and I should be able to find uh, the docking module and the sleeper module, the, both the ones I want down this way as well and we're also going to go check out the pilot's last known location that's technically what i need to go do to uh get what i want from was it the the upgrade where i can like zap Taking the thing off me of an astronautical salt transport vessel nearby vessel name mercury 2 oh damn should i actually like stop and check out the mercury 2 as well also, you may notice, the only reason I am being brave here is because it is a prawn suit. But, yeah, I can fight back with the drill arm now, and this arm. That's the main reason why, alright? It's just because I can technically, if I do run into it, I can punch it off, but it's not going to be a fun experience. I guarantee you that. Ooh. Hi, buddy. Um. Just because I called you my buddy doesn't mean I, you could come up and hug me. Is there a way in? There is. Can I get the pawn suit at least this far? Yes, I can. I feel safe with it right here. Definitely. Ooh, titanium ingot. That's just a full-blown ingot. There's copper wire on the ground. Damn. Might have been a good idea. No, it's definitely a good idea to stop here. I'm going to find so much shit. Ooh, there's actual scrap here. Metal salvage. I was wondering where, like, if I was ever going to find that stuff. Because you had it in the previous game. And, yeah. I originally... Ooh. You're a spine fish. Come here. I at least want one of you for the fish tank. I need to be careful. Because my prawn suit is my only source of oxygen. And, like, yeah. I gotta remember how to get back to it. There's definitely some things. I need a laser cutter to come in here, don't I? Yeah. Doing a little bit more investigating. Damn, I even just made batteries, too. Like, I literally made two extra batteries, so that way I could have some charge, and I also had extra ones that were already charged to use. I don't have a... Ooh, wait, no, that's a, that requires a repair tool. Oh, I have to cut it. I was wrong. It did not require a repair tool. It needs a cutter. Well, let's hop in you. Definitely not much I can do here. Not much at all. Can I get in there? No, I'd have to cut my way in. Okay. What I'm going to do now is, is technically we're not going to go to the pilot's location yet. We're going to head over this way. Kind of north by northeast. In between northeast and east. That way. And can I just grab these by chance? Oh my god, I can. <laughs> Lithium just got so much easier. We're going to head this way. And this is going to take us over to an area that is considered the deep purple vents. If I'm correct. I don't want to like commit because I'm not 100%. So let's stay by the Mercury 2 until I'm 100%. Because my guide, he goes off of there. And I'm not seeing the landmarks he told me to look out for. Okay, so I'm just supposed to go until I hit the Mercury 2 thrusters out over this way. Apparently they're down about 150 meters. Um, yeah. We are definitely going to see the Leviathan today. I'm a little excited about it because we do now got the actual, uh, prawn suit. So that is, that is a bonus of 
protection because we can technically fight back in which right now with the sea truck we can do nothing uh it, if it gets grabbed it's gone like literally geothermal activity detected below nice. Aware of high pressure and temperatures okay there's the thruster module so if i just drop down i should be coming up on a little air oh, i don't want to fall in not quite yet. I want to go check. Back off. I'm going to go check my guide. Oh, it's quite literally just start looking and don't go above 150 because that's where the Reaper will get you. <laughs> that's quite literally what he just said. Don't go above 150 because that is where the Reaper is. So. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll just keep on hopping out and doing this. There's our sea truck docking module. Epic. Now, how many of those do I need? Let's actually check that. Can I, if I can pin it in any way. Also, I can't never figure out which way I'm going to go. I need two more of those. Okay. Is there anything that looks like that over here? No, I'm trying. You may notice I keep on looking up. I'm trying to see if I can see the Reaper. Not Reaper, sorry. That's the first time I've called it the Reaper, though. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can see the... What is that? If I can see the Leviathan. I think it's called a Chilean or whatever. Docking mod... Oh, this is a docking module. Okay. So I need one more. Well to the old captain. I don't want to go all the way down. I might have to, though. Let me just kind of commit to descending. Because I know this one of these leads almost directly into the Crystal Cavern. I don't want to go there yet. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to be past 400 meters. Ooh, we got something over here. Let's go check this out. I think this is the other end of our docking module. This should be our last one. Yep. Now, I'm surprised we didn't run into any of the sleeper modules. I thought they were supposed to be over here as well. Well, let's go check it. It might be a sleeper module. You never know. That's a docking module, 100%. And I'm pretty sure I'm starting to enter a cave. So I might want to start turning back. Come on. Hit the right one. Yeah, it's a docking module. No need to get that one. Hold up. Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So now we are actually finding pieces of his body. Is that just an ion cube? It is. Let's grab it, though. Any ion cubes are helpful. Pick it up. Thank you. Um, which way did I come in? I think I came in from the left. Yeah. Definitely came in from the... No, not the left, the right. Sorry. I, I said the wrong one. I knew it was this way, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm lost. Like, I understand, like, I'm over here by the lily pad islands now. Um, I don't know how I got over here. Also, cool fish. You're coming into my fish tank. <laughs> Damn it. I punched it. It's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Picked up the cool fish. Um... I'm just trying to find my way. I just realized I was above 150. How did I get over here and not also I think I know where I am. And I'm pretty sure I'm close to that one gal's base off of my guide. Off of my guide, mind you. We're going to drop down to this cave. 
I highly doubt this is going to be it right off the bat, or is it? Might have to go check that guide. Because I originally was just following the guides here, hoping I could get the sleeper module. I might have to come back and do that at a different time. Oh, oh, oh. I think it said to follow the lights. Yeah, no, it definitely said to follow the lights. So let's do that. Didn't I tell you to stay away? From what? I don't even oh, know. Oh, there it are. is. Marguerite Maida is the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? Uh, nothing. I'm not with Altera. Climb up. Damn. So this is her prawn suit, and if I recall, it had like a... It, oh, it's got like bones and stuff on it. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to upgrade mine to look like that, ever. Never. It's never going to let me do that. So we got four things now down there. So we got the docking module. I just want the sleeper one, and then we're good. But we are now here. So let's work on this. Opening the door. Hola. Oh, God. Hi. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. I wasn't going to say anything while the cutscene was playing, but she's got a Reaper Skull! Ooh, pick up sea truck from Raider Defense. Yes, that's what I came here for. An abandoned data pad. Let's play this one. Can I not play it? Yes, I can. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. Ooh, she's got a All I could do was one of the tablets. Long enough to wash up somewhere. Hi, I'll leave you alone. Suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. She's got two different sized ones. Died of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're now, practically How did I get in here? But there's some fat oh, up in there. that way. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much, but I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires. Hive but mind. as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Wait, did she, like, just tell us a story about how she carved up a reaper and was smoking the meat on its own burning fat? What a savage. Like, full-blown savage. Okay, guys. As of right now, I am heading back to base because I'm out of water. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to come back out, we're going to go look for the sleeper module, and that's probably going to be it for this episode. But here's the thing. My guide for the sleeper module brings me directly past where that thing spawns. The Leviathan. 
Was it called the Chalanthria or whatever? It's a weird, like, armored fish. Like, heavily armored fish. So. So, I, I can just do this to get fit by faster. Hold shift. Epic. Also, I'm gonna fall. Let's try and land on something soft. Like ground. We'll quit holding back so that way we can just... Boost across the gap. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to base, get watered up, and then we'll head back out. Okay, now if I recall, I should be able to just go boom. Yes, we'll answer you. Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive Newt ball fish. and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. Huh. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. It won't my let me put it in. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never hmm. experience the shade of. We build for the it's next dinner. generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. Okay, so we got two new plants. Young cotton. I have to figure out where I get those. I'm not going to try and test saying that. Test override parallel processing unit. Where do I get the parallel processing unit? Okay, so now what we're going to do is technically we have to head back to the lily pad island to an Altera base for some extra bonus stuff with Alan and all that. And then... What else did we have to do? Oh, yes. We're going to... But before we go do that, we're going to go run over here. And we're going to actually go straight past the Leviathan. And go get the sleeper module. Because I want it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I see it. That there is our Leviathan. That there is our sleeper modules. Keeping him in eyesight at all time, except for when I turn around to get in the prawn suit. How many of these do I need? I need three. I'm pretty sure that was the aquarium module I looked at as well. Yeah, no, I need three. Now, he shouldn't be able to get me down here. Um. Also, I'm panicking and hitting all the wrong buttons because we are over here. And that is the first time I've seen him. Now, he didn't look that scary. Honestly, I think the Reaper looks scary. What is that? <laughs> is this the boost pack? Yes, booster tank. No use. Sleeper module anywhere? I know I probably shouldn't be going down these. Also, add in. artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. I don't think... I'm gonna find anything down here. Recycler. Nice. Got some Altera stuff, batteries. That's usually what this stuff is. Ooh, health pack. So if I do get bit, I can heal. Sadly, I'm not seeing any other sleeper module down in here. That would mean we most likely have to try to ascend here. And, hey, buddy. Ooh. Bring it. You ain't liking it. I actually am not afraid of this dude. He's not as scary. The Reaper was scarier, damn. Honestly, 
Reaper be scarier. I wholeheartedly believe the Reaper is scarier. I do got to do a bit of repair here because I don't want to even risk this prawn suit because it is expensive. But yeah, I feel like the Reaper is scarier. I think it's just because the Reaper makes more screaming noises when it bites you. Okay, so basically I just got to keep on checking these kind of cracks around the yard. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He's coming back for more. I'm going to let him get more it yet. I'm going to hold off on this. Ooh, that is right what I need, right there. I don't see him. I know he's right above me, though. Let's just risk it for the biscuit. We risked it. We got the biscuit. Yeah. He can't do anything to me. I'm invincible now with this prawn suit. Honestly. That's... I think that's most people's gameplay experience as well. You know what? I got the health packs. You ain't my first Reaper I've ever tangoed with, buddy. Come on. We do want this free back. I ain't going to stray far from the prawn suit, but I am going to attempt to... Please wait. This is bad. <laughs> I am going to attempt to scan the reaper. It's not a reaper. Why do I keep calling you a reaper? Hi, buddy. Please, please. Just scan, just scan, just scan, just scan, just scan, just scan. If that happens again. I can't do it. I'm panicking. Yeah, now do it. I got my armor on. Okay, I need to head over to the lily pads. Also, sorry for screaming into the mic almost directly. So let's, uh, let's head this way. So he should stay over in that area now. I hope. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> what is this? Fabricator module. Command chair? I don't think I have this one. Nope. Aquarium module. I actually only need one of these now. And anything else I can scan? Risk it for the biscuit. It's just a sea truck fragment. He's up there. You should be fine. But anyways, ooh. Control room. Nice. I don't know what that is. But we should head over here to the pilot's last known location. Just so that way we can go get this Altera stuff over here and then we can call it. I found a prawn suit grappling arm. No Altera base yet though. Um, so... I found the Mercury 2, like, the front part. And apparently there's a parallel processing unit in it. And I need that to craft the thing... For the hijacking the radio antenna. I might save that for next episode. So that way I have a reason to come back here. Yeah. I'll just save that for next episode. Because that's what that's for. I need to find this Altera base. Because that's what it was part. And it wants me to find. Also, what are these? What are you guys? I don't want to go down. Found another one. So this way. What the heck just EMP'd blast me? Was it you? You're the thing that's attacking me. I think it just EMP blasted me. Also, I'm pretty sure that this Altera base is in this cave. So I have found everything I need for the upgrades for the thermal reactor, the grappling hook, the ultra high capacity oxygen tank, but I have still not found this Altera base. I am like shocked. 
I'm also out of jet thrust and I'm currently falling down into a place I don't have a pressure upgrade for. So I don't want to go down there. So yeah, I really need to figure out where this Altera base is. I found it. I quite literally just found it on accident. <laughs> it, it's inside this rock. So this is the last thing we are looking for because apparently it has spiral plants or whatever. We have a very unique plant here that I need. Or maybe they don't. Swim charge fins, that's awesome. Um Is that giving me stuff I need? Like Okay, I can apparently eat you and you give me uh Can't harvest that. Give me oxygen. Okay. Let's harvest those. Um Huh. I guess that plant isn't here. There was supposed to be one here for a certain fiber. I know where it is. All right, it, I got to go swim up a certain Leviathan's butt to get it. But the guy said that it should be over here in these planters, and it's not. Unless this is it, and I'm not. I don't know how to harvest it. So also, let's quickly hop in the prawn suit here, recharge our oxygen, and then we will go inside this Altera base. We will kind of just scan everything we can. Grab every data pad we can. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact. Perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability. And all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria Nuclear escaped. Reactor. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. Nuclear waste disposal. Hmm. Ooh, what was that? I saw something there I could scan for a second. Was it this? Or... Bulkhead. Have I not scanned any of the bulkheads yet? Damn. Vending machine. Got 50 seconds of oxygen. Another bed. Daniela's. I think I butchered that name. I might have. I challenged your spy pengling to a foot race earlier. Because you got tired of losing to me? Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Cute. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race? Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. Oh, there's paintings? What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day? <laughs> oh, that. Ooh. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. That depends. Do you like it? I just realized I opened the storage. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. There's something in here I can scan. Oh, multi-purpose room glass dome. That might come in handy at some point. I don't think I'll ever use it. I never do half these things I scan. Ooh. Oh, I probably already have those. That's probably why it won't let me scan. Do I got one of those? I think I might be able to craft one of those. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying it, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting any new videos. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Amore signing off. Yeah.